right. First question. If you could be any Disney princess, who would it be? But for real, if I could be a Disney princess, I would probably be that girl in Aladdin. When the hell do you get to make out with somebody on a flying rug? Really? Next. Question number two. Do you think I'm a good singer? No lie. Well, I wouldn't tell you you are if you weren't. Just saying. And you, you, you know who you are. You need to show people that you can sing. No lie. Stop being scared. You better show that angelic voice of yours. Next. Alright, on a side note, check out this boss ass lanyard. See that shit? You see that shit? You need to get yourself one of these. Just saying. Question number three. If you like a guy but he has a girlfriend, the thing to do is stay away. But what if he says the relationship is dead? Uh, uh, okay, you just answered your own question. Why do you even need me to ask that? If, if the guy's still in the relationship nine times out of ten, the relationship isn't dead. And it doesn't mean, even if the relationship is dead, it doesn't mean you can intrude in that. You know? Next. <laughs> question number four. Now this shit is some interesting stuff right here. If you find out your boyfriend is flirting with your cousins through a social network, how would you react? I would rip that nigga's dick off, no lie. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. But for real, you should just leave, just, just dump that motherfucker. Like, he ain't even worth it no more. Just, if, he, if he's low enough to just go after your cousin and and your other family members, just, just let that nigga go. Or kill him, one of those. Question number five. If your ex-boyfriend who dumped you six times says he realized he was wrong and he only loved you the whole time, would you give him a shot? I'm not even gonna answer that. I'm gonna let my niece answer that. Oh, that's just... Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Question number six. If you saw a dog get ran over, would you stop to help it? Or keep driving. Hmm. Oh, this is probably how it goes. Oh no, this dog got hit by a car. Silva 7 on YouTube. You make these soccer videos that makes me want to go play soccer and I can't even run. Question number 8. If you dislike your family, are you obligated to spend time with them? Show up to family functions? Help them out in their time of need? Is family even relevant anymore? Especially if you have a close circle of friends. Well, my friend, there is always a time where you're going to freaking hate your family's guts for the stupidest thing but you gotta understand that those people were there for you since you were born and they raised your ass up and they made sure you turned out the way you turned out so I mean you shouldn't really ignore them or outcast them because they are, only, they are the people that are gonna be there forever and, and the close and even if you do have a close circle of friends, friends come and go, no matter how close they are. So, yeah, man, keep your family dear to your heart. Because in my situation, you know, I know that even how much this asshole right here pissed me off, I, I know that by the end of the day, you know, he's going to make me laugh or he's going to buy me something to eat, one of those. You know? So, whatever. Yeah. Final question of the day. So, 
Sorry, I couldn't get to everybody's questions. I'll do that in another Ask Your Jimmy video. But for now, you can ask more questions on Facebook, inbox me, um, leave YouTube comments or something. Uh, uh, I don't have a Twitter, so if you want to try to, if you want to try to find a profile that doesn't exist, you can go ahead. Um, tumble me, but I hardly get on, so that'd be no use. Um, and fuck Instagram, that's all I gotta say, that, that's some annoying stuff, man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of seeing all those stupid ass pictures. <clears throat> and, uh, all of my stuff will be in the penis box below. There. So, uh, yeah, and if you're wondering why I changed shirt... Man, it's hot as fuck in here. Alright, on to the on to, on to, on to question. Alright, the question is, would your life be better or worse if you knew the day, time, and place that you were going to die? Well, see, that that's a hard one. That That is a hard one. But uh, I would say worse because uh, if I knew when I was going to die, I would be obligated to do all the stupid shit. I'd probably, like fucking shoot somebody or or like go rape a giraffe or something i don't know i i just i just i i honestly believe that i would it would be worse for me because i i don't want to know when i'm gonna die man what the hell what the hell kind of question is that but uh good looking out on the question though all right on another side note someone asked me to do a little singing and uh, I told him to, uh, you know, F off. No, I'm kidding. Um, I know y'all gonna hate me for this, because, you know, it's that JB status. But, uh, yeah. Just, uh, listen. <clears throat> Say you love me as much as I love you, yeah. Would you hurt me, baby? Would you do that to me, yeah? Would you lie to me, baby? When the truth hurts so much more To do those things that drive me crazy Leave my heart still at the door Yeah Oh, and uh, shout out to my boy Michael Tran Check that nigga out Check him out Michael Tran, you know, Facebook Just search him, just look him up